Hey guys, what's going on? It's Justin with Ultimate Baseball Training and in today's video, I wanted to share with you how to properly warm up your arm. We're gonna go over some stretches, uh, kind of like a throwing warm up that you can do before you get started with any sort of practice or throwing routine and it's really gonna help you, you know, build up those small muscles in your rotator cuff, in your arm, your shoulder, um, and ultimately just help you throw uh, with more velocity and help you avoid injury, which is what it's all about, okay? So the very first thing I recommend is some sort of a dynamic warm up, okay? You can do some sprints, uh, but bottom line, just something to get the blood flowing. I don't think you should show up to the field and just drop your bag off, you know, and immediately just start throwing with your buddy. That's not the way that elite baseball players warm up and train, right? I remember uh, my first year in college, we did a pretty extensive like 20 minute warm up and by the end of it you know I was having a really good sweat going but I never felt you know any soreness in my arm that year um, or I never had any sort of major arm injuries or anything like that so bottom line get yourself going you can do a dynamic warm up with high knees and butt kicks and sprints get your body warmed up get yourself sweating that's the first thing you need to do okay the next thing, if you have any sort of surgical tubing or J-bands, I've made some videos on this in the past about J-bands. I would strongly recommend you do some rotator cuff stuff with that, okay? You can do internal and external rotations, both down here and up here like this. You can do things like chest flies. You can you know, um, do full throwing motions while holding the band. There's lots of different things you can do, but that's really gonna help you with that uh, prehab and rehab before and after you throw. So that's the next thing, dynamic warm up. then we're gonna do J-bands. Um, then we're gonna do the exercises I'm about to show you, okay? So um, the very first one is I like to do arm circles, okay? So we're gonna start arm circles small forward, okay? And gradually get a little bit bigger. I don't necessarily like to uh, count the reps when I'm doing things like arm circles. I like to listen to my arms. So some days my arm's a little more sore. You know, I'm going to be doing these for a minute or two, and some days it'll take no more than 20 or 30 seconds. So start small, gradually get bigger, and then as big as you can possibly go. Do that forward, and then we're going to switch it up. Small back. Again, gradually get bigger, bigger, and then as big as you can get. Okay, so after we got the arm circles going, then the next thing is over-unders, just like this. So I'm going over and then under, over-under. My hands are flat right now. You can turn your hands this way if you want. I recommend doing all three ways and turn them up like this, boom, over-unders. The next one is gonna be, I like to call them internal external flaps. So you're gonna put your arms up just like this, about shoulder height, and then you're gonna go like this, flap. Okay, it's a good rotator cuff exercise. You can start out slow and then eventually work your way up a little bit faster. You're flapping like a bird. You should really feel by the end of this, your rotator cuff kind of screaming and barking at you and that's good, that's what we want. Prehab and rehab, okay? You can do those also, you can do those flaps down here uh, with your, your throwing arm, okay? Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna interlock our fingers kind of like this, okay? Just like this, I'm a right-handed thrower, so I'm gonna have my right hand on top, interlock your fingers, okay? And then what we're gonna do with our arms about uh, you know, shoulder height, we're gonna pull out as hard as we can for about five seconds, five to 10 seconds. Then after that, we're gonna push in, okay? So you're gonna ball your fist, push in as hard as you can. Then again, pull out, okay? And push in. Just like that. After we do that for maybe five sets or so, then we're gonna continue to interlock, right? And we're gonna do circles forward, okay? Just like that. Circles back. Boom. Okay, then swim forward. Act like you're swimming. You're gonna look goofy doing these, but I promise you your rotator cuff is gonna be burning by the end of it. Let's do swim forward, swim back. Okay? Then after that, you're gonna act like you have dumbbells in your hand, lean forward a little bit. We're gonna do reverse flies, okay? Boom, just like that. Really pinch your scaps together, squeeze them, especially at the top, get that good squeeze. You're gonna definitely feel this in your rotator cuff on the back side of your arm as well. Boom. All right, the last one is prayers. You're gonna put your hands together like you're praying elbows out like this okay and it's the same thing we did with interlocking you're going to push as hard as you can together like this push forward and take a break you can turn them like this push 
You can even turn them like this, push, right? Okay, then we can do the circles, forward and back. Okay, then we can do swimming again. And that's pretty much it. If you need anything else, you know, sometimes I like to go up to a wall and place my hand on it and stretch my chest this way, stretch my chest this way, um, stretch it this way, kind of get my lat stretch going. But these are all different things that are going to help you with your prehab and your rehab. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Get in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to make future videos about. And as always, if you're not already, be sure to hit this subscribe button right here. That way you'll never miss a video. We're coming out with new videos every single week. So hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.